this video, I'm going to be making banana bread. You know, it's one of those ultimate comfort foods, something that I've really enjoyed ever since I was a child. My mom used to bake it. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit different with it though. I'm going to use yeast as a leavening agent rather than baking powder. Uh, it's a bit of an experiment. I haven't done this before, so I don't know how this is going to turn out. But I just thought that that yeasty kind of taste would be nice with the banana. Um, so we'll see. It should be interesting. Uh, so real quick, going through the ingredients, um, what we've got, uh, we've got uh, one cup of all-purpose flour and three-quarters cup whole wheat flour, uh, some vanilla paste, or you can use vanilla extract or whole bean vanilla. Um, I've got sugar, of course, some salt, an egg, an orange, which we're going to use the zest of, three very ripe bananas, a cup of walnuts. These I toasted lightly before we started filming. Got about a quarter of a cup of majul dates, which I've diced. Two thirds of a cup of butter that I've left out to soften a bit. And then I took about two and a quarter teaspoons of dry yeast, uh, which I added to some warm water with a little bit of sugar to activate it before we started. I've also taken a, a baking pan and I've buttered it and lined it with parchment. Um, so this is going to be a quick recipe, but it's going to it's going to need about an hour to let the let the yeast take effect and and, and to rise. Uh, the purpose of the yeast is to get those air pockets in the bread, make it light and fluffy, and so we want to give it plenty of time to make sure that it 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 will rise before we put it in the oven to bake it. So that's going to be the long part of this. The rest will be very quick and simple. Um, so into our mixing bowl, we're going to add our butter, along with our sugar, and our orange zest. And you want about a half teaspoon to maybe about three quarter teaspoon. Then we're going to add about a quarter teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of our vanilla paste. We'll just take our spatula. all the ingredients. Okay, once our mixture gets a consistency that's kind of like wet sand, we're going to add our walnuts. Set this aside for a moment, and we'll take our bananas. We're just going to break them into pieces, put them in a bowl. We're just going to take a fork and, and mash the bananas. So now we will add our banana to our mixture. Uh, 
and then we're gonna add the yeast. Now I only added a small amount of water because I don't want the, the mixture to be too thin. And we'll just quickly fold everything together. And we're gonna take our flour and we're going to sift this into the mixture. And the textures of this will be very nice. We'll have the dates in there, which will add a nice chewiness. They've got a nice caramel kind of flavor. Uh, and then we'll have the crunchiness of the walnuts as well. I'm just gonna fold this together to combine everything. Spread this out evenly in your pan. Okay, and that's it. So a very simple, quick preparation. Uh, we're gonna set this into a, in a warm place for about an hour, cover it. Uh, I'm gonna use a damp cloth. Um, we're gonna let it rise. And then, you know, about 30 minutes in, we'll turn on our oven. We want to preheat that to 350 degrees. It's about 180 degrees Celsius. And then we'll see you back here to see uh, what it looks like before we put it in the oven. Okay, so we're back. You can see that the, the bread has risen uh, pretty considerably. Uh, it smells very yeasty. So, so letting it sit for an hour does two things. It gives us the volume, so that's gonna make it, it's gonna make it more light and fluffy. Um, which is the purpose of baking powder in the recipe. Um, but then it's also gonna help develop that yeasty flavor, which is really what I'm looking for here. So we're gonna put this in the oven. The oven's preheated at 350 degrees. Uh, we're gonna bake this for about an hour and uh, we'll see you back here then. Can't wait to try it. Here we are. So the banana bread baked for one hour. Uh, I've let it cool now for probably about 30 minutes. Uh, it's ready to try, so this is the moment of truth. Uh, I've never made yeast banana bread before, and I didn't find anything online about this. I did find a couple of videos of people that made it with uh, sourdough starters, so uh, this will be interesting. Um, I'm really curious. Uh, it smells very good, uh, but this is going to be one of those things where I'm either posting a video with a, a thumbnail with my face and a mortified look uh, superimposed over the bread, or this will turn out really nice. So let's find out. This is very moist. Um, there's quite a bit of banana in there, and I think that's what's making it so moist, but it's nice. Hmm. 
Mm, it's good. It's got quite a bit of flavor. Didn't pick up so much of the yeasty flavor that I was looking for, but it's quite nice. Um, yeah. Was it worth the extra weight of an hour for the dough to rise? Probably not, um, just because it didn't really impart that flavor. Might try it again with something like a poolish, see if it gets more flavor to it. Um, but it didn't turn out bad. Uh, tastes like banana bread. Um, so, you know, there you go. You know, if you want to try something different, give this recipe a try. Uh, turns out well, get a nice, moist, delicious banana bread. And, uh, you know, not using baking powder, just using natural yeast. So, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, you know, check back. You know, maybe I'll try another one uh, using Polish to really give it that, that fermented sort of flavor. See how that turns out. Uh, if you like the video, you know, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And I hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching.